subscribe, comment, all that good stuff help promote and make up my channel. So apologies about the lighting. One of my lights went out. HBO Max will develop an upcoming TV series based on G Grady Hendrick's new novel, The Final Girl Support Group, inspired by classic horror flicks. Those final girls like Laurie Strode or Sidney Prescott that survive all kinds of hell. This is going to be a support group type show for them. This is an insanely creative, in interesting premise, original and it could be pretty damn good if they balance it out right because you have all these girls who have survived some really close calls come out on top again and again you have a group of final girls if they balance the cast out enough like where they give everybody a, a certain amount of screen time and don't just give you some ultimate final girl they really keep you guessing which one's going to survive because this is a support group for people that have survived this kind of stuff it revolves around them talking about their experiences and then one by one they start getting picked off that is insanely interesting especially if you balance it out without giving us a primary final girl keep us guessing who the final girl's gonna be run bitch run only problem with a show like this at this point in time is that the whole strong female man bad type thing is being done to death by hollywood <laughs> You have no idea what he's like. How he treats my mother. This could go really hard R and be great in that avenue, but it it's also it, it could get very feminist, very preachy. What is this? Some kind of support group for serial killers? Why are you here? It's complicated. Man bad, very, very hard on the man bad stuff. Why to express your anger? Yeah, and you're ugly. And very, very hard on the feminist propaganda. Fuck this. Fuck. I'm really hoping for a great show here that, that, that is just not filled to the brim with that kind of stuff. Something that is just like classic horror, paying tribute to classic horror in a new, original, creative, inventive way. So Hendrix, a New York Times best-selling author, just released the novel on July 13. It simultaneously challenges traditional horror tropes while also paying homage to slasher flicks of the 80s and 90s, particularly the focus is on the final girls left at the end of the horror films, who are the only ones left to tell the horrific stories. Deadline reports that the previously announced Final Girl Support Group series has landed at, at HBO Max. The show will be produced by Charlize Theron. I, I, I don't know how to say her name, but that girl there. Uh, Andy Machete will also direct the pilot. Classic flicks like Friday the 13th, Halloween, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and more. Each of the six women in the final... Uh, girl support group has a unique but almost eerily similar traumatic experience in their lives afterward have taken drastically different paths with becoming motivational speakers while others have fallen into addiction. However, while attempting to collectively grapple with their trauma, they begin mysteriously dying off. This is what you said to me. A group of serial killers attending a 12-step meeting tried to kill me. Now, I likely have a twist like one of them has become the killer that haunted them. I, I could definitely see that happening. It got really messy. I like it messy sometimes. <laughs> it definitely sounds like this is something you could build a franchise out. In comparison to, like, Saul, the Book of Spirits. A spiral the, from the Book of Saul or uh, R.L. Stein's Fear Street trilogy over on Netflix. These things have said they want to build be the MCU of the horror franchise. This, to me, if well executed, could actually be the one that gets the be the MCU of the horror franchise. Because if these characters are well written enough and their past experiences are alluded to more a little bit more vaguely not completely fleshed out the trauma that the experience that they the likely get flashbacks to the serial killer killing all their friends and hunting them down but if they don't go too far with that you could definitely give them each their solo movie and i i just really hope that there's no like main character it's not obvious who the main character is it's a group that 
gets as much screen time equally split and you're really wondering who 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 the hell's gonna come out of this alive who's the real final girl that would be incredible if they could execute it like that but also again while something like this is insanely interesting we live in a time where hollywood is all about that strong women girl power women this women innocent women women pure women victims men trash garbage oh, so hopefully it doesn't have a bunch of off-putting dialogue or, or some really bad feminist anti-male framing and it's just really strong material <laughs> Let me know your thoughts and opinions, because if you're a horror fan, this shit is for you. This shit is right up your alley, unless they botch it with wokeness. Because wokeness has no business being anywhere near the fucking horror genre. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Stay awesome. Rock on. Fuck this.